Hi everyone. So in this video, we are going to talk about Redux actions. Okay. In the previous video, we talked about Redux store, Redux reducers. Now the last component we have is the actions. Actions are nothing but a clean JavaScript object which contains two things: type and the payload. If you are passing, like some information, we can actually do store dot dispatch. Here we can just directly call store dot dispatch. Here we are passing two things: action type and text. So this type will go. Okay, is there any reducer which is taking care of this action type? If yes. Then it will process. It will get a new state object and put the new state in the store. Or you can create action creator. These are called action creators. These are nothing but a functions returning a JSON object containing type and payload. Okay, here like add to do, edit to do, or remove to do. These are nothing but called can be called as action creators. What they are doing is they are just returning a JSON object having type attribute and some payload. Payload can be a data coming from API, some JSON object, some array or something which you want to add in the state and return a new state object. So these are actually three components we talked about. Now, if we actually combine all these things together, it becomes like this: actions, reducers, and store. That becomes our Redux. So we talked about store is something which is storing everything as a JSON object. The whole state, client state, is being stored as a JavaScript object. Then we talk second things we talk about is state is read only. You will be updating state through these uh, immutable methods. Okay, these are the actions which has a type and some payload which will be applied on the reducers to return the new state. These are called action creators. Which are nothing but a functions. So you can use directly this JSON object or create a separate function, which indirectly give you the same thing, type and text. Okay, this becomes our full picture. Here view and actions. This will be a part of your React. Otherwise, all the things are same. Here we have a reducers, we have actions, we have a store. Right? These reducers are nothing but a pure JavaScript functions taking current state and action as an input and returning. The new state to the function. So currently, if you see, this is my initial state based on the actions. I will be returning at the new state object, right? I will be having many reducers in my application when I write it. So I can actually combine all the reducers. Here, this is how it works. We can actually combine the reducers and can create a new root reducer. Here it will work. If I just copy it here. Here, to dos is my one reducer, which is taking care of. Like if I do function to do, to dos. Okay, this is my one reducer taking care of something. Sorry. Okay, there can be another reducer I have, which is counter. These are nothing but a functions. Here it can have it has its own state object. State consider that it is having uh, array of task simple task tasks array. Okay. So this is my current state I'm talking. So I initialized task with empty array. Okay. This is another functions and second argument for this is an action. Okay, here in the counter also I have a state, and in the state I have count as zero, and here I am providing action. Based on the action, I will be returning new new state. So in your application, you can ha actually have multiple reducers, but you can actually combine them. You will create a root reducers, and then this root reducer can be further passed to the create store method. In the create store, you will pass root reducer, and if you have an initial state now, what initial state can be? If you see, one one reducer is taking care of the tasks, one reducer is taking care of the count. But if you see what my final state will look like, final state will have something like this. Here, I have a tasks array. One reducer is taking care of this, and one reducer is taking care of count. 
right and this is mapped to these two keywords to do's so to do's is my one state it is having tasks okay this is my first state and uh, another is a counter counter is another property in my big state tree which is maintaining this count value okay so this is my final state tree this we call as a state tree once we combine all these reducers because here we are combining both the reducers and here we will be passing the initial state if you have right here you will creating a store sorry the const store something like this now this store is actually combination of all right now based on the actions here you can write a switch case and all based on your actions you will be just returning the new state and here from the store dot dispatch store dot dispatch here i can actually pass what i can do is a type type is add let's see nothing so add it will see okay which reducer is taking care of add this one or that one so in the counter obviously i will be writing if uh, action dot type and i will be what i will be doing returning uh, state plus one right otherwise return state simple this is what i will be doing right and here i can dispatch you can subscribe whatever you want simple so this is how we actually combining all the reducers together and creating a store okay i mean this is how the combined reducers and all will work then we will actually call we can call create store method create store will actually take your root reducers your initial state initial state can be anything initial state you will be getting from the local storage if you are hydrating or storing your state updated state every time into the local storage and the middlewares you will talk about redux middleware redux is all about managing the state giving you the new state object but for debugging purpose we can use a logger middleware for making an api call we will be using redux thunk redux saga redux logger all these other middlewares you can pass while creating a store okay that we will cover in our future examples thanks everyone